Good day, my friends. So welcome back to the channel. I am Kyle of Hollywood, and I am going to go walk through Hollywood right now. So if you don't, if you're new to the channel, I'm an actor, producer. You can check out a couple of videos. No, you can check out a couple of films down in the links to the description. Zombie with a shotgun, the chair with Roddy Piper, and uh, some other things if you want to check out my IMDb. But this is about walking through Hollywood and what it's really like. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm not going to like, you know, make things worse than they are or better than they are. So we're just kind of walking and talking through this place together and uh, we'll see what we see as we see it. So that's what we're doing. But right now I need an iced coffee. So 7-Eleven iced coffee time and then we can get to it. All right. So I got a couple of check checks. I got my iced coffee. I got my uh, my, my uh, peanut butter bar. Give me some protein through this thing. We are at Sunset in Cherokee right now. And I'm gonna cross the street right here. And then uh, we're just gonna start walking. So we're about a block from where I left off, which was Sunset and Seward. So um, so this is, uh, yeah, got some people that kinda live around this area on the streets. And so we're just gonna walk by them right now. And uh, so you see, I'll show you across the street, which is, one of the reasons why you'll you'll see people kind of hanging out around here. Okay, so what's coming up on our right is going to be set up, I believe, by the Church of Scientology, and it is a uh, a museum for psychiatry, and they have a pretty intense view of psychiatry. So uh, so we'll just we'll just walk by here and see what it is. So <clears throat> so psychiatry. An industry of death. This is a museum, and uh, so yeah, I, I have not been in here, but um, yeah, maybe one day um, we'll check it out. So yeah, haven't been in there, so maybe one day. So this is Sunset and Seward, which is where we kind of left off last time. This is right by the uh, specialty butcher shop. And they have all kinds of cool stuff, like uh, fancy cuts of meat in there. So if you need fancy cuts of meat, you go to the specialty butcher shop right there, Sunset and Seward. Takaya, modern Mexican restaurant. That's cool. Superba food and bread. Let's see what do we got. We have open non-stop lunch, brunch, dinner, late night. You know, I I kind of wish it said like a little something. You know, like what kind of food, what kind of what kind of bread, uh, that kind of thing. You know, on your signage outside, and maybe I would want to go check it out. But you know, marketing, marketing. Hey, by the way, please click like on this channel, subscribe to it, go watch all the videos. I got a lot of stuff. A lot of Hollywood stuff, a lot of movie stuff, a lot of like bow and arrow archery stuff. Check out the channels. So uh, yeah, so I appreciate you coming along for the ride. And uh, let's go see more. So right across the street from me right now is the Hollywood Athletic Club. And that is a pretty famous club. So I think that's been around for I don't know, I'm gonna say since the 30s, 
but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's funny, it's like, it's difficult to read like up close here, but the camera sees it better than I do. Who is housed when money talks? That's an excellent question, but um, things to ponder. So we are now at Sunset in the Hudson. Not a whole lot here at Sunset in Hudson. We got uh, Healthy Housing Foundation. building here optometry has to do with like eyeballs and stuff like that if you can't really see well then you go to like an eyeball place where they put these lenses across the eyeballs and they help you see better so that's what that means all right so we're gonna cross over here at sunset and wilcox got your staples funny because when they first came out with staples or when I first heard about staples you know the first thing you think of is like why would they make a store that just sells staples I mean I know that you got to stick paper together every once in a while you know to keep things from flying all over your desk but it's like I don't think that that's a whole industry just for a store right so then I found out that you know they sell more than just staples inside of staples Across the street, you got your liquor and deli cafe. That's handy. All right, so we are coming up on Sunset and Cahuenga. So we're gonna cross the street here. And I believe that used to be a Starbucks. It's now a Phil's Coffee. Which is kind of cool. I mean, I like to see, like, you know, other people besides Starbucks having coffee places. And right here at Sunset and Coenga is the CNN building. So this is, this is the CNN building. I'm gonna go ahead and cross the street so we can get a better shot of it so you can see the scope of the CNN building. All right, so this is Sunset in Coanga. We're crossing the street right here to another coffee shop because LA runs on coffee. It's just that that young lady right there probably drank a bunch of coffee before she went on her run. So. This is the CNN building, which is where we just were, across the street. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Hollywood, Coenga Corridor, Hollywood Boulevard. This kind of shows you where, where we are right now. And we are right here. So you got your Cinerama Dome, the LA Film School, which we're actually walking, that's behind us. So, so we're here, so we're walking that way. And if you remember, we came from the Hollywood Athletic Club, which is where I said, hey, there's the Hollywood Athletic Club. So that's right there. And so we're just, uh, we're just gonna keep walking that way a little bit. So let's do that. So we're now, I stayed across the street. So we are, crossing Coanga Boulevard going towards the Los Angeles Film School so 
I'm just recording things as we see them, and um, so this is this is what's on the streets and what's not on the streets as we go along here. So this is right. We're at Sunset and Ibar, and this is the Los Angeles Film School right here. And across the way is the Lighthouse, which is where they have the Van Gogh exhibit, which is pretty cool. I have not done that yet, but I, I definitely will because, I mean, you gotta go see the Van Gogh exhibit. So, cool, cool. So on our left is the LA Film School. You got free COVID testing. Twenty-four hour fitness. You got your veggie grill, and then you have the Cinerama Dome, which is a super famous. Theater for film and movies and whatnot. It's huge and um, it's closed. So I'm pretty sure that it's going to be opening, but it was one of the things that closed in the last couple of years of what has happened. So pretty crazy. And that is right across the street from the Los Angeles Film School. Very cool. Today is actually a on a Saturday when I am recording this, so that's probably why there's not a bunch of students out here drinking coffee and smoking cigarettes and riding skateboards, because that's generally what you will see. While they're learning how to make movies, of course. So this is coming up on Morningside, and this is going to be some big places to live. So all these places are pretty, pretty pricey to live in. Um, yeah. Oh, look at this. So Bibby Bop is 100% gluten-free. An Asian grill, oh. Well, that's a bummer. So, closed until further notice. Another, another victim. So, I can't have gluten, if you did not know that, um, or corn. Or really rice anyway it's fun being me but that would have been a cool place to go to check out so yeah not everyone who's gluten-free does it because they just want to be gluten-free you know so anyway just know this coming up on sunset and vine you got your Bank of America you can do banking related things there I'm pretty sure. I used to have an account there at one point. This used to be a Walgreens. I don't know why it's not a Walgreens now, but uh, it's just one of the used to be's. That's crazy. Wow. Now, I don't know if you can see in there, but now it is a nothing. See, you think I, that was the a juice place in the back there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy. We are at Sunset and Vine. Across the street over there, that used to be a Starbucks as well. And it is nothing right now. I love 
this tile that they have at this chase is pretty famous. Let's see if we can get up there and see what it says. All right, so this is pretty cool. It's like uh, it's got Gary Cooper, Sarah Bernhardt, Rudolph Valentino, Mary Pickford. So it is a tribute to Hollywood. Charlie Chaplin up there. Douglas Fairbanks. Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. All right, so we just crossed Sunset. We just crossed Sunset and Vine, and uh, we're just gonna walk a little bit over this direction. There's this cool little restaurant right on the left over here, and. Um, it is the waffle. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So it's super popular. If you guys want to check it out, it's uh, thewafflehollywood.com. Check out what they got. It's got a little outside seating, all kinds of cool whatnots and waffles and what have you, and breakfast food and coffee and all that good stuff. Right across the street, we have condos, condominiums, that sort of thing. Places where you can reside if you can afford it. It's got your, uh, this, I actually auditioned in that building. I don't know what it is right now. So we are at Sunset in Argyle right now. And at Sunset in Argyle, on the left hand side is the Palladium. So the Palladium is a super famous club that's been here for a long time. Uh, let's see, I went to the Palladium a bazillion years ago. And uh, yeah, super cool venue. So I don't know who's playing here soon. Let's see if they if they have anything. Midnight Oil, June 7th, okay. So look out, June 11th, 2022. Cool, uh, yeah, so that's where the Palladium is on Sunset Boulevard. And I think that's gonna wrap this one up, my friends. So thank you for coming along for the ride. You can support the channel by clicking like, leaving a comment, that always helps. And uh, if you wanted to, you can join the Patreon, Kyle Hester Actor Guy. There's links to all this in the description. And we also have merch, t-shirts, I Love Indie Film t-shirts, Creature 6 t-shirts. So click on the link below for the t-shirts and uh, you can support the channel that way. Thank you so much and we'll see you on the next one.